Thanks very much, Courtney. Well, Aaron, a, an absolute beatdown today by Oklahoma State. Their key players played, and the Red Raiders' key players did not. Well, I mean, they, they were on the field, and, and certainly the Oklahoma State key players, Justin Blackman, Brandon Whedon, um, you know, Randall, all those guys performed well, and, and they showed up and, and had big days, and you just you just could not stop them. This game was never competitive. You know, once uh, you, know, you, you give up a score, 7 nothing, your offense goes three and out again, and you hold them to a punt, and then they punt, and, they, and you promptly turn it over on the return, and, and that's when basically the wheels came off, and it was over at that point. You know, they score 28 points like nothing. You're down 35, whatever points at halftime. It was over, you know, and then the end result is uh, the largest margin of defeat in program history, the, the most points you've ever allowed, period, home or away. Um, so, yeah, not a whole lot went right for, your, for Texas Tech. We got beat today. We got beat last week. And, and uh, uh, you know, this, I, we knew this going into this year was going to be tough. Uh, and, uh, you know, that team out there today, has not lost a game. We knew we had to play above our heads to have a chance, and uh, we probably, you know, the, the the three turnovers, you know, were just pretty much sealed our fate in terms of giving us giving ourselves a chance to have that emotion to play. You know, after the game, the, the talk was about confidence, and, and you're 10 games into the season. It's it's a bad time to be talking about losing confidence. I'm a little bit at loss uh, as a reason why we lost confidence, but when things went bad early. Uh, we didn't bounce back. It's a confidence thing, you know. We go hard in practice, but then the game comes. When something don't go our way, we just shut it down. You know, that's not going to win you no game. It's not going to win any games, and we got two more. Is this the worst performance you've seen by a, t a Tech football team? Well, I think, I mean, Oklahoma State's a pretty darn good football team. Uh, there's no way you should have been outscored 66 to 6, certainly. Um, but I think I think worse is still probably Iowa State because they are not a good football team. They aren't ranked. You should not have been thumped as badly as you were. Uh, but certainly in terms of uh, you know margin of defeat and, and the opposing team just doing whatever they wanted to at any point, I mean the, the score could have been a lot worse than it did. They took off their foot off the gas certainly. Just uh, just a weird day, a weird way to end a, a weird home season. Uh, defensively, we knew there were question marks going into the season. Obviously, throughout the season. Offensively, though, it's is it Eric Stevens being gone? I mean, this team seems to be losing confidence offensively. Well, I don't think you can really point to Eric Stevens as, as the main reason or even as the biggest reason because they went up to Norman without him and, and won. Uh, and, and they played pretty darn well offensively without him against Kansas State. So, you know, would his presence in the locker room help a lot, especially at, at this moment in time? Absolutely. Um, but I think it's bigger than that. I think these guys just, uh, when things don't go their way after that Iowa State game, they get down. And, and like Eric Ward said, You've got to look at yourself first. You can't blame it on a, you know, another player that didn't do his job. It starts with yourself. You've got to ask yourself, what am I doing wrong? I think people just need to look themselves in the mirror and just ask, what am I doing that's not helping? You know what I mean? It's something that's missing because we practice hard. We go out there and play hard. But effort don't win games. This is not a do-good lead. This is an execute lead. you got to execute. You know, for whatever reason, we weren't good in that Iowa State game. We weren't good today. You know, we got to figure out the reasons why we weren't good there, okay? And then we got to prove to those kids, hey, these are the same play, same players. And, you know, I think the confidence all starts with the quarterback. He's got to understand he's a good player, and, and, and he'll play much better on Saturday. Looking ahead, uh, they travel to Columbia, Missouri to take on the Missouri Tigers. A big win for them at home today over Texas, but they lose their key running back in Henry Josie. Uh, your thoughts on that game, and if Tech can win one of these final two and get bowl eligible. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to get bowl eligible. That's this program's identity. Um, you have so many young players on the roster that those extra practices will be crucial for next year. Uh, you, you have to make a bowl game. I, I don't care if it's the Pinstripe Bowl, the Monarchy Car Care Bowl of Texas, uh, the Who Care Bowls. It, it's all about those practices more than anything. Um, so Missouri, I think that's probably a winnable game now without Henry Josie. Certainly more winnable than it was before. He's the Big 12's leading rusher. Uh, haven't won in Columbia ever, but you don't have any other choice. I mean, you have to win one of these last two games uh, to get to a bowl game. I mean, just bottom line. They're not going to let us hold our heads down. Or they're not going to let us give up. They're going to coach us hard. And we know that, and we expect to win. We want to win, so we're just going to keep playing. Thanks for your time. Enjoyed it this year, bud. Yeah, you bet. Looking forward to next year. All righty. Courtney, let's send it back to you in the Fox 34 studio.